Hello all, this is Emmix from the MDF and we're back out with the Macro Racer, uh, this new machine that's just been developed by uh, MacroDetector.com. Uh, if you'd seen our, my first video I made on this machine, we were at the local beach uh, checking out the wet mineralized sand and how it could cope and it done very, very well. Now what we're doing today is out at my fill permission and we're going to be digging uh, the usual four holes, approximately eight to nine inches in, in depth and we're going to be placing the targets. I'm going to show you those targets in a moment, close up. And uh, anyway, see so how we get on. Right, just to take a quick look at the targets, we've got the big penny here. Uh, we're going down in size. We've got the George the first little penny there. And to shake it up a little bit, we've got a modern day 20 pence piece. And that real tester here, that very, very small uh, Henry VIII uh, silver sovereign uh, penny literally only 12 to 15 millimeters in max diameter and look at that you can barely there's barely no density to the coin at all uh, I'll be putting some of those back in the bag so I don't want to get them damaged and obviously we have the big uh, big nail there I haven't got me rusty now anymore lost that unfortunately but I've got this new one to replace it and uh, next stage is just to uh, place these uh, scan the hose place these in the hose fill the uh, push the clods back in and uh, see how we go on. right just before we start uh, I've got the targets uh, I've got the rule uh, we've, we've dug, as I said, we've dug all the, uh, the holes, uh, we've uh, measured them at approximately 8, just over 8 inches. When the clod's over with the grass, it's going to be approximately 8 to 9 inches. Uh, next step in the next segment of the video, we're actually going to uh, switch on the machine, scan to show there's no targets actually in the holes and start placing the targets. Right, we're about to start and I'm about to place the targets in these holes. Now, it's going to be a little bit awkward, so I've got a rule, I've got targets to place and I've got to set up the machine. So bear with me if I mess up a little bit. Anyway, the first thing to do is um, switch, I'll switch this machine off and switch it back on again. Is basically we're going to want the ground balance and we're going to do the pumping ground balance. There is tracking, there is manual, but we'll do the pumping like we've done on the beach. Basically what you do, keep the coil away from the ground and push that ground balance button forward and while doing that straight to the ground about one inch to about eight inches we'll do it again you can do it a few times just to make sure you've got the ground balance right we'll do it one more time and it'll go beep when the ground balance is done and here we have the, the holes i've dug now we're going to go over those it does tweet a little bit uh from time to time i think that was noted by someone else uh, doing a similar test, which doesn't seem to, to matter so much. It's not on a, a, a loud noise whatsoever. Just the odd little tweet now and again. And there you have it. That's all the holes checked. You'll certainly know that you know you can hear it tweak a little bit in the background, but you'll certainly know the difference when we actually place and uh, go over the targets. Right, first thing to do now is place the first target. Let's put this metal detector down. And first target's gonna be the big penny. There you go, it's not in a package because I don't need to worry about that. Well, first of all, what I'm going to do is just put this, my new roll in. And you can see that's a good eight, maybe nine inches there. There you go, there's the penny going down. I'm going to put this loose soil over the top. Pack that down and put this big clod back in. Oh. Right, on to the next hole. What's the next one we put in here? This is the George the First. There goes the penny. Let's put that back. Right, George the First. So just check the hole again. You can see we're well up to eight, maybe nine inches again. It's a George the First. Putting all this excess soil in pack that down now you can see we've pretty much kept these clods in, in this tack intact as much as we possibly can to give it a bit more of a, a genuine test you know I 
obviously that's a lot of that soil is not disturbed and we've obviously got the grass we've obviously got the grass that's um gonna add to depth as well right and onto the next hole we've got the modern day penny there you go oh sorry not penny 20 pence piece that's right rich right so there you go there's a 20p let's fill that hole up it's certainly keeping me warm out here it's freezing so i'm quite pleased i'm doing this today oh put that clod over that's a big clod and you can see obviously at the surface we've got a fair bit of grass as well right there we go now to the next target we've got the very small that's crazy small that is that uh, little hammered there you go for the depth and there's the little hammer going down make sure it stays level right let's see if we can oh the rest of that soil in pat that down muddy here right let's put that club back in oh right and finally we've got our big nail goes in the last hole just to see how it um, how those tone, tones change on a nail right I'll measure it but I don't see what the point of it but there you go you can see it's well over the eight inches fill that in oh god there we go right you put that last clod in right all we've got to do now is remember where we bury the targets right and remember what they were so if you look up rich where we just there's a racer over there uh what we're going to do is just go down from the other end follow up through and see what it does i've not switched the racer off Right, where was the hole, Spritz? We've got one. Is that the first hole? Is this, this is the first hole. Is this the first hole? Yeah. This one here. Oh, yeah. Right? So that was the large, large penny. Right? You ready? Yep. Okay, let's see what, see what happens. That's given a reading of 83. And that is blasting our ears off, as as we expect it, you know, to be with, uh, a, you know, a coin of that size. But I'm lifting the the racer's uh, search core off the ground quite some way now, uh, so that's very positive on the on the large penny. Got freezing out here. Right. Next was the George the first. Onto the next hole. That's given an odd tone. Oh, it must be a bit of iron somewhere. There, we've got it out there. It is over. Here's a, here's a clod here. There you go. That's the Georgia first. Still above the ground a little bit. Very, very positive. I'm not getting a reading on the Georgia first on the um, target screen. It's not giving me any numbers, but we're getting a good, good uh, tone. And we're going to go to the modern day, is it the modern day penny next? 20p. 20p. A penny? What am I saying penny? Yeah, 20p. Right. Yeah, the 20p. I noticed this down the beach with 20p's. It tends to give a little bit of a irony grunt sometimes. Not too bad. It's given a 42 reading. 44, 42, 48, around the 40s. Right, now the big test is that little hammer. Now we're gonna get it. I can't even think where we buried it now. It's here somewhere. It's around this area. 
Right. Wow. There you have it. That's a lovely diggable tone, actually. Yeah, there's the clod. Yeah, definitely. There's the clod round here. Fantastic. We're not getting a reading at all. Again, it seems to give readings on larger, larger targets. But I'm very pleased with that performance. And it's, that's a, certainly a diggable target. Fantastic. Right, let's go on to the, and see what happens on the nail. There you go. That grunt, grunty noise of a, of a ferrous target. And there you have it. That concludes this uh, short depth test on the macro racer. Well, there you have it. That concludes this uh, little in-ground depth test video on the Macro Racer. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. That'd be hugely appreciated. Um, it really did work well on that uh, small hammered coin uh, at that depth. You know, you could hear the tone. It was certainly a diggable target, which was great. That was very uh, impressive. Uh, overall, the machine is uh, pretty much lightweight. It's uh, the menu is very very easy to navigate. Uh, it you know this is the sort of machine you could have for a beginner and more advanced alike. So you know it's, it's everything really. And not only that, it just just generally looks a nice machine at that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to follow my journey with the uh, Macro Racer, in the next couple of weeks I'll be going out to a permission to check this out in a real. Uh, sort of dig situation and see how it reacts to uh, various targets and see what we can find. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and best luck to all. Cheers, Emirates.